Hello and welcome to today's video on the C919 aircraft. This aircraft is a narrow-body commercial passenger jet that was developed by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China COMAC, as a direct competitor to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 aircraft. In this video, we will take a closer look at the C919 aircraft and discuss its features, specifications, potential impact on the aviation industry, as well as the challenges it faces. The C919 aircraft is designed to carry up to 168 passengers and has a range of 4,000 kilometers. It is powered by twin LEAP-1C engines developed by CFM International, a joint venture between GE Aviation and Safran Aircraft Engines. These engines provide a maximum thrust of 31,000 pounds each, giving the aircraft a cruising speed of Mach 0.785. In terms of dimensions, the C919 aircraft has a wingspan of 35.4 meters and a length of 38.9 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is 77.3 tons, and it has a maximum cruising altitude of 12,100 meters. The C919 aircraft features an all-new flight deck that is equipped with advanced avionics and flight control systems. It has a modern, spacious cabin that is designed to provide passengers with a comfortable and enjoyable flying experience. The C919 aircraft is expected to have a significant impact on the aviation industry. As the first narrow-body passenger jet to be developed and produced in China, it represents a major step forward for the country's aviation industry. The price of the aircraft is close to its main competitors, the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, which doesn't make it particularly attractive for airlines worldwide. However, the aircraft can compete successfully with Boeing and Airbus in the domestic Chinese market. If COMAC manages to lower the cost of the aircraft, it could attract a significant number of orders from airlines around the world. This would allow COMAC to challenge the long-standing duopoly in the narrow-body commercial aircraft market. In addition, the C919 aircraft is expected to play a key role in China's ambitious plans to develop its aviation industry. By developing and producing a high-quality passenger jet domestically, China is positioning itself as a major player in the global aviation market. The success of the C919 could also lead to increased investment in China's aviation industry, which could have positive economic and technological benefits for the country. Despite the potential benefits of the C919 aircraft, there are also several challenges that it faces. One of the main challenges is the issue of certification. The C919 has yet to be certified by the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, or the European Aviation Safety Agency EASA. This certification process can be time-consuming and costly, which could delay the entry of the C919 into service. Another challenge is the issue of brand recognition. The Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 are well-established brands in the aviation industry, and many airlines may be hesitant to switch to a new and improved brand like the C919. In order to overcome this challenge, COMAC will need to invest in marketing and branding efforts to raise awareness of the C919 and its capabilities. Finally, the C919 also faces competition from other emerging players in the commercial aviation market, such as the Russian MC-21 and the Japanese Mitsubishi Regional Jet. These aircraft also offer advanced features and cost-effectiveness, and could potentially attract customers away from the C919. 
In order to remain competitive, COMAC will need to continue investing in research and development to ensure that the C919 remains at the forefront of technological innovation. In conclusion, the C919 aircraft represents a significant milestone for China's aviation industry. It is a high-quality passenger jet that has the potential to challenge the long-standing duopoly in the narrow-body commercial aircraft market. Despite these challenges, the C919 is a testament to China's growing technological capabilities and ambition to establish itself as a major player in the global aviation industry. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest developments in the aviation industry.